everyone, I'm Rezvan from MammothInteractive.com. In this video I'm going to be talking about declaring and using Boolean variables in Android Studio. Just so you know, there is a 10 hours course in the description about coding. And right now we're going to head to Android Studio, which I assume you already have downloaded and installed. And we're going to follow these directories over here. We're going to go in App and Java and the first folder of this tree that you see over here. We're going to go in main activity and in this function which is on create we're going to go and declare our first boolean variable but first of all just so you know boolean variables are used to evaluate the logical condition and they were named after the English mathematician George Boole which was a pioneer in the study of logic. So right now we're going to go and declare our first boolean variable and we're going to name it is battery charging I'm going to set it equal to true and just so you know uh, you can only assign the value of true or false to a boolean variable so just to show you how the false variable the false uh, constant looks like it's like this you don't have to put it in quotes if you put it in quotes it's going to be a string so it's going to give us an error you have to always use it like this and just to notice that the naming convention for boolean variables is to use a question that can be answered with true or false for example is battery charging or is volume turned on and now I'm going to give you a more practical example and we're going to use a if else uh, statement so we're going to put a condition right here and the condition is going to be is battery charging you can also say for example is battery charging equal to true or if you want to keep it more simple you can just eliminate this part over here and that's what that's what we're going to do later but first of all just notice that this operator over here this equal sign actually means um, that we're assigning the value of false to this variable on the left side and these two equal signs are actually for comparison so it's going to compare the left side with the right side so the value stored in is battery charging is going to be compared to the boolean uh, constant true and right now it's uh, it's um, it's going to be evaluated to false because is battery charging is not equal to true so it's going to go on the else statement and we're going to delete this part over here to keep it more simple um, because right now if you see it sounds like in English so it sounds like if it's battery charging execute this code otherwise execute this code so this code is going to be actually a message that we're going to display on the screen and we're going to use the toast utility and we're going to display a text but first of all we have to set up some parameters over here we're going to say this because we want to be displayed on a main screen of the application and then we're going to set up the message and the message you want to show on the screen is going to be called battery is charging okay and then we have to set up the length of the message so how long is going to be displayed on the screen and we have a predefined variable which is length long so we want to keep it for like a couple of seconds and then we have to um, use the built-in function which is called show to show the message right away on the screen and we're going to copy this part over here and we're going to put it in the else branch and we're going to change it slightly the message and we're going to change it to battery is not charging and we're going to also say something like plug in the charger okay so right now we just can uh, run our application to give a better example to just show how it works so we're gonna run the emulator and we're gonna zoom in over here and it's gonna be displayed the message and it says battery is not charging plug in the charger and that's exactly what we expected because our boolean variable is set to false so if you check the condition if is battery charging display this message message otherwise go on the else statement and display this message over here and that's gonna, that's exactly what was displayed on the screen previously and right now we're gonna set this equal to true um, and we're gonna see that this message is gonna be displayed on the screen because the condition is gonna be evaluated to true so right now we're gonna run again the emulator over here and we're gonna zoom in to see what's gonna be displayed and it says battery is charging and that's exactly what we want it to be displayed 
Okay, so that's everything you have to know about implementing Boolean variables in Android Studio. You can go to mammothinteractive.com to check our projects. And if you haven't already, go and check that 10 hours free course about coding, which, you, which will teach you more in depth about the programming concepts. Thank you for watching.